draft class for the Rockies to make it up to the big leagues. Yeah, they have a bunch of young guys that they're excited to get some looks at here as the season winds down. Corbin Carroll spits on that slider low. Corbin at 233 and 19 home runs. We're getting back to Marte. He took that third pitch strike. He's been doing that quite a bit in this series, taking that called strike on that outer edge. Against breaking balls, Corbin sends one away out of here, and there's number 20. A 2020 season, the second consecutive for Corbin Carroll. And buckle up, it could be a long one here at Coors. Well, that one jumped off the bat at 104 miles an hour, 438 feet. Talked about trying to jump on Gomber early in this game. He gives up a lot of first inning runs. And here he gets a center cut pitch. Gets good extension on it, hits it out to the facing of the second level here. Gomber now tied with Aaron Nola for the most home runs allowed in the National League. A Jumbo Jack, free Jumbo Jack tomorrow with Jack in the Box with a large drink purchase. The former Rocky, Randall Gritchick, bats third. He's the DH. Well, that could be the jump that the D backs are looking <laughs> for. There's that pose for the picture. You got to get a collection of those photos. Gritchick slams it into left center. Doyle over to cut it off. Randall on that bad hamstring into second with a double. He has been a huge contributor recently. Boy, that makes it three doubles, two homers in his last four games. Boy, another pitch right in the middle center part of the plate. Puts a nice swing on it to left center field. Cannot score enough runs in this ballpark. Well, you can. The D-backs have that reputation of when they score early, they score often. They really tend to play a lot better with that lead early in the game. Christian Walker homered here last night. Gomber with a changeup that caught the edge of the zone. Walker's homer yesterday is 26th. He has singled and homered in the series. Eighth inning last night. Hit one out the other way to right field. It was Christian's third home run in his last seven games, so he's swung the bat well after missing all of August with that oblique injury. He's hit in three straight games, seven of his last eight. Walker sends one to left field. That'll get Gritchick home. Hilliard over to cut it off, a long single for Walker, but it's an RBI and a 2 0 Diamondback lead. Three consecutive one out hits. Well, look at this pitch, another pitch, center part of the plate from Gomber. Nice job by the D-backs, just jumping all over those pitches. It's going to give you something to hit, and they've been taking advantage of it so far. Paven Smith, the hot hitting Paven Smith. That's fifth. Left on left here for Paven. Who has sit safely in four straight games. Paven now 296 on the year, seven homers. And he is as locked in at the plate right now, Gonzo, as perhaps he has ever been. He's been on base this entire series. Good example right there. Does an offer at that slider and gets ahead. Two balls and no strikes. Paven has three hits. He has doubled twice in the series. He's also walked three times. More first inning runs for the Diamondbacks, most of the majors. 3-0. Gomber is... Off course so far, missed badly with a fastball that time. Gino Suarez on deck. Haven surveying, four consecutive have reached with one out. Gomber having trouble throwing strikes. 16 pitches, more balls than strike so far, falling behind in counts. A chance for Gino. And I uh, was wondering when Daryl Scott might make his way out there given the circumstances. And here he comes, the pitching coach. Let's get this message now from your Desert Ford dealers. Ford F-Series, the best-selling trucks for 47 years and counting. Get behind the wheel of your Ford truck 